Okay guys, so today I am going to be decluttering and organizing and just overall cleaning up this closet. So as you can see, we have a lot going on here. There's a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a bunch of stuff that I need to go through and decide what to give away. And just overall, I need to clean up and organize this space because look at this. Look at this. But yeah, as you can see, I do have storage space and I did kind of initially start organizing it when I first moved in. So you can see I have space for my wigs up top. I have shoe storage in here. And at one point my clothing was all hanging up and organized and even color coded, but now, not so much and I do have these drawers over here on the other side which are meant to give me a lot more storage for my underwear my socks my pajamas swimsuits stuff like that but they really need to be gone through there's a bunch of extra stuff in there that I don't need and as you can see I have a monster pile of hangers right here because I have a monster pile of clothes on the floor these are actually clean clothes don't judge me I know you're judging me right now anyway but yes these are clean clothes this is what happens when I'm looking for something to wear and I throw everything on the floor and then I don't put it back or I get new clothes and I feel like I don't have a place for them yet so I just throw them on the floor or just a multitude of reasons why these clothes end up on the floor instead of hanging up where they're supposed to be. But first, the first thing I really need to do is laundry and that would be my first suggestion for any of you guys out there who need to declutter your closet is to make sure you do all of your laundry first. That way you're working with all of your clothing as you can see I have a huge pile of laundry that needs to be done not to mention I just did a pile of laundry and haven't put it away yet so this is clean laundry that needs to be considered and put away as well and on top of that what I'm gonna do and what I would also suggest is to make sure you get any extra shoes and clothes that might be hiding elsewhere in your room or in other closets or other rooms so all these little extra pairs of shoes and other stuff that I have around my room I'm gonna gonna pile all that up that way I'm working with everything so in here in my filming room I have this box of clothes that are new that I am now finished filming with so those need to find a home in my closet and I also have some extra stuff hanging up on my garment rack in here in my filming room so I want to make sure I get all of this stuff gathered up so while my laundry is going I'm gonna go through and make sure I don't have any random stuff in my closet like these cords I really want to take everything out of here that doesn't belong long in here like if it's not shoes if it's not clothes it doesn't need to be in here and it needs to find another home I'm also going to take all of this stuff and pile it up on my bed that way I have a clean space to work with in here okay guys so I'm going to start off with looking through the stuff that I already have hanging up I have this kind of all pushed back but there is actually a lot of stuff still hanging up and I have stuff down here and I have stuff over here and I have stuff over here and a couple of things over here and over here. So although I just picked up that huge pile of stuff and put it on my bed and I have a huge load of stuff in the laundry right now, I still have all this stuff to work with right now. So I wanna go ahead and sort through this stuff now that's already in here. That way I can like clean it out get rid of the stuff that I don't want and that way I'm working with a nice clean organized base before I bring all of that other stuff back in here. Okay so starting over here the way I'm going to decide what to get rid of is just going to be does it fit? Have I worn it since the last season? And do I still even like it? <laughs> I do kind of have a tendency to want to like hang on to stuff just because and I'm like making excuses as to why I need to keep it but Fashion is forever changing, especially with what I do, doing lookbook videos, outfit posts. I try to keep up with the new stuff and not just keep re-wearing my old stuff. So it doesn't really make sense for me to hang on to a bunch of old trendy stuff if it's not on trend anymore. So unless it's like my favorite and I always wear it, I really don't need to keep it. All right, so first top is this mint green lace up top. I haven't worn this in a while, but I have worn it several times. Oh, look, it matches my, my Fenty slides. Um, and this is like my favorite color. 
it's a nice top and I definitely see myself getting more use out of it so that's gonna be a keep same thing goes for this lace-up green bodysuit I definitely have worn this a couple times recently and I see myself wearing it again this one is another lace-up top it's a bodysuit as well it's in like a coral color it's a nice top just to wear in YouTube videos because it has a little bit of a detail right here and it's a pretty like a nice pretty solid color so when I'm filming like makeup tutorials I tend to wear stuff like this so I'm gonna keep this this next top is just a plain v-neck gray bodysuit from boohoo this is a staple you gotta keep this then I have a few long sleeve oversized t-shirts this orange one is from forever 21 I have one from pink and another one from pink I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these because although it's summertime right now I definitely wore these a lot when it was winter and fall and I definitely see myself wearing them next fall and winter we got a bunch of sleeveless tops here and this one is just like a sheer white top with a pocket I haven't worn this in forever because it's kind of awkward to wear because it is sheer and it's not a very flattering cut so I think we have our first giveaway and I'm going to save the hanger over here next we have another sheer white top which I have not worn in forever it's from wet seal so that tells you how long ago I got this again it's just awkward to wear because it's sheer and it's not a flattering shirt on me and I think I bought this when I worked at wet seal and I had to wear stuff like this but I don't need it anymore I'm not gonna wear it like let's just let's just get rid of it then we have two more spaghetti strap tops this one is a bodysuit it's a maroon one again another staple I love these gonna keep it with my other bodysuits this one is just a little flowy top with a little ruffle on it this is from forever 21 I last time I think I wore this was to a wedding a few months ago it is a nice top that's kind of like it can be more dressy I love this color it fits me nicely so I'm gonna keep it next up we have hella black tops black is like one of my favorite colors to wear so I, I'm not mad at myself for having a lot of black in my wardrobe I think that's fine as long as each top is different starting with this one this is just a little lace-up t-shirt from boohoo I really like this shirt I tend to wear it a lot and it's another good shirt that's good for videos because it has some detail up at the top so I'm gonna keep this Okay, so we made it halfway through one section of my closet so now I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit and just show you guys the things that I'm giving away just because I think that's kind of interesting to see what I'm not keeping and why this top is from boohoo and I think it's cute and I've seen it on other people and it's really really cute but it's just not very cute on me and it's not very like practical to wear because the way that it's supposed to like wrap around your shoulders it just doesn't really fit on me I think this is gonna be a giveaway even though it's cute I just don't think it works on me so I have these two oversized like chunky knitted sweaters they almost look identical this one is um, from BCBG when I used to work at BCBG so it's really old but I get so much use out of this I wear it all the time every year when it gets colder so I'm definitely keeping this one this one on the other hand was supposed to be a maternity sweater that I got when I was pregnant but like it's nothing really special like maternity about it it's just like the same type of oversized sweater as this one but didn't this one's just not as cute so we don't need to keep this one we can give that one away all right so moving on to this stuff over here these are like my dresses and longer stuff because it goes all the way down to the floor so it gives me more space I have so many dresses and I honestly don't wear all of them um, especially the ones that are more going out or special occasion but I'm kind of hoarding them so I really need to go through them I am definitely going to keep all of my bodysuits though these are like those long um, unitard leotard things I actually really love these I think they're really comfy to just throw on and then throw a sweater or tie a flannel around your waist or whatever so I have a couple of these and I'm going to keep them I have all these black dresses and I feel like I need to get rid of at least a few of them so I have this one it's actually really cute and I think I only wore it for a video I never had any other occasion to wear it so I kind of want to keep it because I'm like man I just want to wear this again but I don't know if I ever will I'm not sure how exactly it fits me right now so I feel like I really should give this one away although it's cute it's not the cutest black dress that I have I have 
a few more like two other black dresses in here like this one with the lace up detail that is really really cute so if I was ever having a moment when I needed to wear a little black dress I would wear this other one first or this other other one or this other 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 one so this is like my fourth option and when am I ever gonna have four occasions back to back to wear a black dress so that's why I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's not my first option. This one is just an old maxi dress that's like all stretched out. It has like this cage detail in the back which is kind of cute but it's just like old and stretched out and it's something that I might wear like around the house but I really don't need it taking up space in my closet anymore. This is like a little Rihanna inspired mesh <laughs> swimsuit cover up type thing which now that I think about it like that as a swimsuit cover up I'm like well I could use it. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. I have a few dresses right here that I just know I'm never gonna wear. Like this white dress is old. I actually wore it to the club and like a few events in college. And I even let my friend borrow it and she wore it. And it's just kind of dingy now and a little bit stretched out and just, it's, it's, it's seen it today. So that can be a giveaway. This is a maxi dress which has a paint splatter on it. And I just, I just don't need it. This is a little satin slip dress which you know super trendy it's in a cute little light pink color but it's way too big and wide for me like when I try to wear this it just looks like I'm wearing a potato sack US size 8 which I wear a size 2 so I don't even know how I got this or why I have this next I have all these red dresses which is kind of weird because like when do I wear red dresses this one is actually probably the oldest dress I bought this in college specifically for an event that I was like hosting that we all had to wear red dresses it's actually really cute and it fits me really well because I altered it myself it's just like a little red mini dress with this little detail around the top and this is cute like I want to have another reason to wear this again so I kind of want to keep it next I have this red little slip dress which I can tell you right now does not fit me it's just an awkward cut I think it's actually made to go under something else that I don't even think I have anymore so we're gonna get rid of this red slip. Then I have these two red dresses, which are a little bit more fancy, kind of like holiday party. They are actually for my holiday party maternity lookbook. So I did get these when I was pregnant. So I believe they're like a little bit too big for me now, even though they're not maternity dresses. I think I just got them in like size large or size medium. Um, I'm not sure how they would look on me now. So this is something that I would have to try on and see maybe this year if there's a holiday party that I'm going to, I might actually wear these. So I'm gonna keep them for now. So here's another one of those dresses that I probably will not have an occasion to wear it again, but I wore it for an event recently, a night out type of thing. I like it. It was cute. I don't know if I'm going to wear it again. Even if I did have a reason to wear it, I probably wouldn't want to be an outfit repeater with something like this because it's so like noticeable. I think I should get rid of it. Next I have two red plaid dresses and this I know I wore for Christmas like three times already. This one I haven't worn as many times but it's cute and I don't know why I haven't worn it and I kind of want to wear it. So I definitely see myself wearing this again like maybe this holiday season. This one I've worn it too many times for the holidays so I think it's time to let it go. As for these two pairs of overalls, these are my only two pairs of overalls I think in my whole closet so I feel like I need to to keep at least one of them the leather ones are cute but tbh i ripped them in the crotch and tbh they don't really fit me that well anymore and tbh i should probably get rid of them i really don't want to yeah they're ripped there's a big hole in the crotch so ugh, i guess it just fell i guess that's my answer but i am gonna keep the denim ones because you never know you just never know. Next, we're coming up to some more fancier stuff that I've really like never worn or like worn once. This dress, which is really pretty and I love it. It's a Lulu, not Lululemon? No, For Love and Lemons, <laughs> not Lululemon. Inspired lace mesh dress in this really pretty mint blue color. I wore it once for an event never wore it again. It honestly doesn't fit me that that great though. I had to finesse it for that event. I want to keep it because it's so freaking pretty. And maybe it'll fit me in the future when I gain a little bit of weight. And that event was a long time ago, so I feel like I can get away with wearing it again. 
I think I'm gonna keep it for now. It's just so pretty, like I don't wanna get rid of it. Next we have this satin duster jacket, which is an automatic keep because I actually have worn this a couple times and I'm definitely gonna wear it again. I love this satin jacket. I got a lot of compliments on it whenever I wore it. Next we have this gold shiny knitted dress swimsuit cover up distress thing. I got this for a boat party. I did wear it to the boat party over my swimsuit because I wanted to be extra. So although this is a newer purchase and I only wore it once, I'm not gonna wear this thing again, so that's a giveaway. Next, we have this cardigan, which has a huge hole in the bottom of it. It's another maxi cardigan right here. There's a huge hole, hello, because I got... <laughs> Funny story behind this, I was wearing this. I got in the car in the back seat. My dad was driving. I apparently had the tail of the cardigan hanging out the car door. It had got closed in the car door. So when we got on the highway, the end of my cardigan was flying out the side of the car and they got caught on the wheel of the car as we're driving 70 miles per hour on the highway and all of a sudden I'm getting pulled it's like pulling me against the car door because it's getting tangled and we had to pull over and untangle my sweater from the wheel of the car and that's how I got that big hole in it because it just got all ripped up so I told myself I was going to keep it because I was going to sew up the hole, but it's literally a chunk missing. So I feel like this cardigan is bad luck anyway, and we need to give it away. Okay, so we actually have a pretty decent giveaway pile going on down here now. And I still haven't even gone through this side, which has my vest and my jackets. And down here where I have a few skirts and pants. And over here where I have my jeans, which most of my jeans are still in the laundry right now. So I need to go through those. Not to mention, I still have this huge pile of clothes on my bed that I need to go through. Plus the two loads of laundry that are in the laundry room right now. So I honestly still have at least half of my wardrobe to sort through. So I'm just going to speed through that really quickly. But just starting off with this pile first and then I'll add in the laundry. I'm going to make two piles, basically a get rid of pile and a keep pile out of all of this stuff. The get rid of pile, it might be stuff that I might end up selling or giving away to friends or just giving away to like charity, like Goodwill, Salvation Army, whatever. So it'll be divided up later, but for now I'm just gonna put it all in one pile of stuff that I'm just not gonna keep in my closet then I'll decide what to do with it later. So I do have a bunch of new stuff that I just got from Windsor that you guys just recently saw in my try on haul. So I'm obviously not gonna get rid of any of this new stuff. So I'm putting all of this new stuff in my keep pile. But sometimes I do get stuff sent to me from companies and it just doesn't end up working out for me, honestly. And it's not like I can really easily return it or exchange it or anything. It's just not really worth it. So I end up giving it away to friends or just giving it away in general so this bodysuit from Fashion Nova is one of those things that I'm just not gonna get any use out of it didn't really quite fit me either so that's gonna be in the giveaway although it is brand new with the tag on it this is a newer skirt from Fashion Nova that I'm keeping this is a skirt from Fashion Nova but to be honest it really doesn't fit me it's a little bit too big for what I was hoping for so it's new with the tag but I'm going to give it away also same thing goes for these shorts that I got from Fashion Nova they're actually too small for me because I got an extra small and I probably should have got a small or a medium so this is new with the tags but I'm going to give it away you need a hug Okay, I'll give you a hug. This is a fairly new romper, again from Fashion Nova. It's like a sleeveless little romper. I actually still need to make a Instagram post with this romper, so I need to keep this. These are new, like, embroidered jeans from Lola Chutique. Still have the tags on them. I already posted a photo, but I left the tags for the photo because it was just for the photo. I wasn't wearing them in real life, but these are really cute. These are new, so I'm keeping those. This is, like, my favorite crop top right now, a little um, off-the-shoulder crop top. It doesn't look like much, but it's just the best crop top in the world, so I'm definitely keeping that. That's from Lola Chutique. a fairly new romper a company sent it to me and I did use it for my bridal video when I wanted to look like I was kind of 
wearing a wedding dress from here up but from here down it doesn't really fit me so I'm going to get rid of this you can see I have a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova because they send me stuff obviously so I get a lot of stuff from them but I try to cycle it out so that I'm not just like hoarding it just because they sent it to me this is another similar romper like the one I just showed it's a little bit different this one's from Fashion Nova it fits me better and I've worn it once before and it was actually really cute and I can see myself wearing it again so I'm gonna keep this one instead of the other white one okay so I feel like I got most of like the new and recent purchases out of the way out of this pile there might still be a few more hiding in there but this is mainly like new recent purchases of course I'm not gonna get rid of any of that stuff I did find a few stuff that just didn't really work for me that I am still giving away <laughs> blazer it's like a teal green color it's from forever 21 a super long time ago like when i was in high school i haven't worn it in forever because it's just not my style anymore and when am i ever gonna need a teal blazer i actually took this back out of a previous giveaway pile i had said i was gonna give it away and then i was like oh no i want to keep it i don't need to keep this and that's this whole pile yay but i still have one more load of laundry so I feel like I did pretty good out of that whole pile actually. This is my get rid of, giveaway, sell, whatever pile. And this is my keep pile. My keep pile is bigger, but that's a pretty decent pile. Plus adding on this other pile that I first took out of my closet to get rid of as well. Plus adding on the jackets that I was gonna get rid of. So that's three piles of giveaway. So I'm separating out one of these boxes as my temporary giveaway shoe box so far I have these in here which I just I loved them when I first had them my platform converse but I just never wear them anymore they're kind of just not really my style anymore then I have an old pair of heels which I also used to really really love and I was hanging on to them for forever but I just don't ever wear them anymore and they're just really old from Charlotte Rue so they're not really like high quality to be keeping forever these little gold espadrille flats I'm going to keep although I haven't worn these in a while and I don't wear them often I do like to break them out every now and then so I'm gonna keep these these blue snakeskin like slip-on vans type of thing I never actually really wear these so I'm gonna give those away these gold Steve Madden flats I bought these secondhand and I never really wore them because they're so clunky and uncomfortable these little flats used to be like my everyday flats and I used to wear these all the time like they're so beat up but I haven't worn them in forever and they're super old and I need to give these away these are my little studded converse. They need a good washing, but they're cute and someone custom made them for me. So I'm going to keep these. And I also have another pair of just low top converse that need washing once again. But I feel like you got to keep your converse. Like these are just classic. These leopard print Steve Madden loafers. They're really cool and they're like pony hair and everything. They were pretty expensive when I first bought them. I wore them a few times when I first got them, but again, they're just not very comfortable. I don't know, I can kind of see myself wearing them again now that I kind of just rediscovered them in my closet. I kind of want to wear them one last time. So I think I'm gonna keep them for now, but I'll probably end up giving these away soon. Then I have a bunch of like tangled up gladiator sandals in here. These used to be some of my favorites as well. They're like little gold. Birkenstocks type sandals and I just really like them but they're super beat up super old and crusty they're falling apart and once again I need to get rid of them and replace them if I really want them that bad these are a recent purchase from Forever 21 their little lace up Zaya, get out the way at least come over here their little black lace up sandals with the little thin strings I really like these so of course I'm going to keep them because they're new these are my old little slip on sandals from Target I got these when I was pregnant and they just kind of I don't know the, I wore these so much I don't let me try them on right now actually because I can't remember if these still fit or not okay never mind they still fit these are still good I'm gonna keep these so I actually ended up getting rid of a lot more sandals than I thought I needed to, but I have this whole box full now to get rid of. So here's my giveaway shoe pile. I also added in one pair of heels from over here because they're just old and dingy and I haven't 
worn them in forever and I also got a new pair of heels over there that I can replace them with. All right, so all of these tall boots hanging right here, I'm kind of sad, but there are a couple pairs that I feel like I need to get rid of even though I don't want to. It's one of those things where I like the actual shoe, but it doesn't actually look good on me or really fit my body type. I do have thin lower legs and stuff so like even some of these tighter stretchier thigh high boots they just slide down on my legs and they just really don't fit me same thing goes for these these are really big on my legs like you guys can probably tell just from looking at the side view my thighs are not that big so they don't stay up and i have them laced up as tight as they go these are the little boot clips that i use they're literally like little mini pants hangers but they're for your boots i got them on Amazon just literally search boot clips it comes in like a pack of 10 for like six dollars or something and right here I have two pairs of sneakers these plain white Adidas sneakers which I've been wearing recently and then these other white Adidas sneakers which I forgot to return because I bought two pairs because I couldn't decide which ones I wanted these are slightly different I don't know if you guys remember from my try on haul video I was supposed to return these and then I forgot and then the time period passed so I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or try to sell them. Actually, you know what? I need to get rid of these and these because I don't wear them. I'm not gonna wear them. They're cute, but I'm not gonna wear them. So I need to add these to the giveaway pile. These two I have worn several times and I will wear them again. These are like basic black pointy toe ones. I will wear those again. These actually have a huge peep toe, which I don't really like, so I'm gonna give those away. These I get a bunch of use out of all the time. They're just basic black tall booties. And these are my brown Calvin Klein booties that are kind of like these black ones, but slightly different and they're brown. So now I feel like I can put these sneakers up here and then even take these other ones. I mean, they are different, like they are truly different. So, I mean, I have them. I can't return them. I might as well keep them. But now it kind of annoys me because there's an empty space right here. So I feel like I need to buy a pair of sneakers just to go in this space. Actually, just kidding. I'm keeping these. I changed my mind. I want to keep these. I'm going to put them over here. For my beloved slides, I started keeping them under here. I know you can't really see them because the shirts are hanging down kind of low. But they are all under here. And to me, it's okay if you can't see them because it's not really something that I'm necessarily trying to have on display and I know they're there and it's kind of just the best and only place I have for them right now so I have my mint green Fenty Puma slides I have my black furry Fenty slides I have my pink furry slides from Forever 21 and I'm going to add in my rhinestone slides from Macy's under here and my Ivy Park slides. And that just fits perfectly for now. I don't have space for any more. So if I get more, which I probably will, um, eventually I'd like to find a better way to store them where I can see them a little bit better. But for now, I'm just going to keep them under here like that. So my swimsuit drawer is really full right now because I just did a huge swimsuit haul where I got a bunch of swimsuits sent to me and they are all really cute. So I'm pretty much keeping all of the new ones that I got, but I'm pretty much getting rid of all of my old ones that I had before that. So I just took all the old ones out and I'll be getting rid of those. Okay, so now we have this huge pile of clothes to hang up jeans tops pants skirts shirts dresses all different types of stuff that i just really want to be hanging up and visible in my closet and i separated my hangers which by the way i only use these felt hangers because they're the best they're really skinny and your clothes don't slide off of them you can order a pack of 50 black felt hangers off of amazon for like 20 bucks 
so I think I have like a hundred of them because I think I ordered two boxes of 50 black hangers and then I had these pink ones from when I was in high school and these green ones from when I was in college and I'm trying to kind of phase out the pink and the green ones and just switch all over to black just so it looks cleaner and nicer but these are perfectly good hangers so I'm not just gonna like get rid of them so I'm still using them my completed cleaned out organized decluttered closet I know it doesn't look super glamorous like some of the other closets you may have seen on YouTube recently um, but I like my closet it is pretty spacious it's a large walk-in closet I feel like it does give me a lot of storage so yeah I'm pretty happy with the huge pile of stuff that I am giving away I am going to be just giving most of the stuff away just to like charities goodwill churches stuff like that just to people who could really use it but for some of the more fashionable nicer pieces I am going to be listing them on my website for you guys just in case any of you guys are interested in some of my shoes and jackets and stuff like that um i'll just be selling it for like a super low price just first come first serve so check the link down below if you guys want to shop my closet i guess but yeah this is just a realistic day with me cleaning out my closet nothing glamorous nothing special just kind of wanted to show you guys the process and maybe inspire you guys to do some decluttering in your closet so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!